Welcome to the chaos risk meeting, September 8th. Sean started recording late again. Um, we're in the middle of discussing the relationship between uh, the OSSF and the chaos risk working group. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I don't think there's a single perfect, yeah, there's a single one way that different organizations can work together. Uh, yeah, I agree. But I will say I that, that the LF in general encourages folks to work together. But there is also the risk of, hey, nobody can get anything done until uh, ev absolutely everybody signs off on things, which clearly is not going to work. No, so, I don't want that. And I don't think yeah, anybody I, nobody wants, wants that. that. Yeah, that, 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 that's a total straw man. But I, I, it's easier to explain the ridiculous level. Um, so, I mean, step one is I'm in almost all the open SSF meetings. I'm in this one, too. So, I, you know, I can certainly try to explain one group to the other, um, noting that, you know, unfortunately, I am actually, you know, a single human who doesn't know everything and, you know, I, you know, I, I don't know everything. And, you know, I, when I try to explain something, I may get something wrong. So that said, um, I, I think yeah. for, for step one is personal overlap. I mean, it's not just me. Uh, Kate, I know. Um, you know, it tries to follow some of the open SSF things and, and we talk. Um, yeah. you know, so I try to, I try to follow one, them, but I, yeah, I don't so get I to a lot of the meetings. Is personal. If there's a need for a stronger connection in some way, awesome, let's flesh that out. And, and since I only read, read the outcomes and don't make the meetings, I, I, I personally can't, you know, certainly conceptually, I can, I can see there's, some kind of you know mutual area of work, but I I don't have any ideas about if if there are like things that this working group could address that would be more useful to the OSSF than other things, and maybe maybe that's and the second part of that is like is that important to us? I I think it's useful to be collaborating with a group focused on security because I think most of the risk that's experienced by open source projects today is related to security. So I think to the extent that we can provide things that are useful to the OSSF, we, uh, you know, we increase the value of this working group and uh, to the op overall open source world. Um, but that is not I the only way we can do uh, that. that would be useful. I, I think that's something that would be useful to the OSSF. Uh, and the, and the open source security community as a whole in its foundation is um, kind of a normalized um, view of, of security performance. That is, we can ask, how is the open source ecosystem as a whole doing? Um, are we you know, reducing vulnerabilities or vulnerabilities going up? Um, and kind of providing system-wide metrics. That, yeah. Um, yeah, un un unfortunately, I, I, I have, having worked on such things in the past, I do worry a little bit about that particular thing you are noting, because the way to increase vulnerability reports is to start looking at the code to look for vulnerabilities. And the process of removing vulnerabilities increases the number of vulnerabilities found. So yeah, the if your metric is, hey, I, you know, number of vulnerabilities translates to insecurity in general it's the reverse you know having some vulnerability reports gives me confidence someone's looking which is yeah, I, I, I can see the like the heisenberg phenomenon it's um, worse than that it's worse than that heisenberg means you are uncertain this is if you look you are guaranteed to increase the number of vulnerabilities the way to have no vulnerability reports is having no one look so it's yeah. much you are certain to get exactly what you didn't expect if you if you just you know I'll measure a vulnerability count. People have tried that vulnerability count thing before and found it didn't measure what they thought it was measuring. <laughs> yeah, I mean when you when the suggestion of trying to create a scorecard of or, or or some kind of sense of the general and that's I've I've actually I think you know it's been posed as a question to me by. Um, some of the folks who are in the uh, around the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy, you know, that there are folks who've talked with them who are like, 
they'd like a sense of how much it would cost to make all open source software perfectly secure. And so there's a, you know, in the larger society, they're starting from a place where that question is intractable, where it's not how it works. There, there isn't probably a way to do that. And what, what is the, I think the best we can do is be better than, you know, I, I think this things, you know, things like the scorecard gives us kind of a, 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 like a battlefield assessment. Like this feels like security to me and, and those kinds of vulnerabilities feel like, uh, uh, like a Will Smith Independence Day scene where they're trying to destroy the invading spaceships. And, you know, ultimately we, there may be a computing architecture that is successful at that. But right, right now, you can't, I don't right. think anything can, nothing can be perfectly secure. That's, I think, a, a how, fantasy. How do you go back further? You know, how are you going to measure? See, people have actually worked at the, how do I measure how secure some software is? Uh, I, I actually was uh, indirectly involved with some other folks who worked at that in my former company, IDA. Um, they worked with the government. They spent you know, years building on other work that had been built on for 40 years. They got nothing. Okay, yeah, people have worked at that nut for a long time. No one knows how to measure security directly. No one. Please give me the counterexample. Want to see it? What we do know how to do is measure indirects. Things like, hey, if um, <clears throat> you know, if nobody's reviewing the code, that's a risk. If if the if uh, the software. Um, you know, doesn't do X and doesn't do Y, that's a risk. And so you look at a set of things that you believe are indicators. And you're quite right that that's not the same as measuring final security. All true. We don't know mm -hmm. how to take the ladder. So we measure indicators instead, which are necessarily indirect. Does and the OpenSSF do that? I'm sorry? Does the OpenSSF do that? Yes. That's what scorecards and best practices badge and salsa and lots of other things. They're all about trying to measure indicators, indirect indicators, because that's what we know how to do. We know how to look at code. We know how to measure processes. We know to ask questions about the people. Um, that doesn't make it bad. When you can't do something, but you want it directly, the obvious solution is go about it indirectly. And that's not, yeah. a, that's not a mistake. That's a, it's important to society that we make the software more secure. And this is, in general, the only way anyone knows how to do this. Now, if you yeah. want perfect security, uh, I've got some papers about formal methods. Uh, I will tell you the dirty secret about formal methods is nobody knows how to have absolute confidence that the requirements are right either. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so but, but, you know, we, we do know how to, how to do some things, and it's all indirect. So, yeah, um, I, we're, we're I turning... Go ahead. I mean, just to just to give you an idea, for for about twenty years, nobody had proven whether or not there was it was possible for an algorithm to absolutely assure privacy in a computing system. And a colleague of mine at Missouri figured, you know, built a very complicated math paper that proved that in fact it is possible to build a computing system that preserves privacy. Now, he hasn't built that system. He's built a prototype thing. And I would argue that privacy is substantially easier as a problem than security is. So if you can think that it's taken computing research 20 years to identify and then, you know, answer that question, I, I would say, in my opinion, and I'm curious if, I'm, if I diverge from others, but in my opinion, security you know, can you proving whether or not a system is entirely secure is a substantially more complex, multifaceted problem than privacy. Yeah, and to be fair, I don't think anybody's trying to prove security. They're trying to estimate to figure out where, you know, where should I worry about? Where should I put additional resources to? Right. Build? And that's, that's okay. As I said, that's... It, it's, there's, there's a lot of dimensions and, and angles on security, and there's only one on privacy it either is or isn't it's almost a binary at the end of the day 
So, um, so, so I think that um, the um, the general angle on security metrics at the OpenSSF is um, is helping developers of projects know how to improve the security of their projects. Whereas, I, I, which, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. And, and in particular, um, what I'm not aware of as an output of OpenSSF is metrics on the overall. Um, security health of the open source ecosystem. Is that false? Um, hmm. L let me, I, I, let me, uh, what I wanted to immediately react to, Lucas, was I think you're, you're right. They do a lot of measurements of projects, but I don't think that projects are the only audience. You're right, the projects are one of the audience, but I think mm -hmm. the other audiences are we're actually related. It's the potential users of that software because they're thinking about adding something. Should I worry about that? And the other is current users. I'm already using this crazy thing. Is this what I should worry about? Now, all those three yeah. can be helped with metrics. I'm going to use that word very broadly involving projects. You know, hey, this project doesn't have, um, you know, protected branches. Does that mean it's automatically a terrible project? No. But if I have a huge number of indicators like that, that they don't seem to be taking a lot of steps to protect their, you know, no one of those things will tell me, oh, it's terrible. Uh, DJ Bernstein's kind of famous for doing a lot of things uh, differently than everybody else, but tends to have pretty decent software. But you know what? If I see a whole lot of indicators, I'm going to go look there because when there's enough smoke, there may be fire. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure if if you believe or anybody here believes that I think there's such a thing as a perfect security metric. I don't. Uh, yep. I think we're all, we're all deep in this space, and I have the same knowledge of an expert practitioner as all of us. So yes, there are indicators; they're very broad, uh, and they add up to big pictures that are more or less. Yeah, and what I hope chaos is going to do is uh, zoom in and focus on clearly defining metrics that matter so that others including the open ssf can reuse those metrics and do things like oh wait we want to score projects you've got a way better measure for doing something than we had thought of and you you took the time and we, we, we you know a lot of the metrics that people are using are, are a little more uh you know rule of thumb you know if we can drill in and somebody think harder it would be great to go grab that idea and put them in various places so I, I don't think the two are in conflict. Uh, the open SSF is kind of racing forward, you know, taking advantage of, of I guess, more, more academic. I, I'm looking for another word. Please, my apologies if somebody's well, taking offense to that. Think, no, I'm not. That. I mean, I, I, think, you, you, I think what you're describing is a taxonomy that, that the I'm sorry. I think what you're, are you, you're, I think you're talking about what chaos is providing is a, a, a definition, right. um, a, a consistent definition. Whether it's perfect or everyone agrees with it isn't important. It's a reasonable definition, um, which is, I suppose, in some sense, that's what a dictionary does or what a taxonomy does, and that is a bit of an academic thing. But before we had these definitions and, and this taxonomy of metrics. Um, it, it seemed that people got in a lot of arguments about the meanings of very basic things in open source and how to count them. And that, that these definitions help to eliminate spending you know, time debating that. And I don't, I, you know, I don't know, David, Kate, Sophia, if Tell me if I'm fantasizing here. Well, I don't think you're fantasizing in terms of you know, you're you're making metrics and you're hoping somebody's going to pick them up. I mean, why do anything? I you're not you muted know, myself by do. touching my earbuds and I don't know how to undo it. Oh, sorry. Is that? <laughs> I, I guess I'm agreeing. Oh. With... Sorry, David. I didn't hear that because I accidentally activated Siri. <laughs> okay, so I, I think I'm agreeing with you. I mean, I think in general, nobody wants to do something that's, uh, that's ignored. That's awful. I've done that. I hate it. Uh, so um, It's my job. <laughs> do, do stuff nobody, nobody cares about? 
<laughs> well, I mean, I don't, I don't think, I don't think that more, I don't think there's a, like, a, I'm pretty, yeah, I think there's probably 20 people on earth that read my papers regularly. <laughs> well, <Maybe> more. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm some, not here to debate your life choices. <laughs> I mean, some some of them are cited significantly more than that, but I don't think that means people read them. Oh, <laughs> but but, but it, it, in all seriousness, um, I, I I I view as chaos as creating those um, you know delved into more deeply metrics that can then be shopped around and maybe, maybe the issue. I, I think, frankly, in particular, scorecards is a good place to put some of these things. Uh, so, so maybe what we should do is just kind of have a scorecards chaos risk group kind of discussion. I mean, you know, yeah. maybe Sean, you, or and some others, uh, Sophia, Lucas, Bernard. I mean, well, Kate too. I mean, everybody here. Uh, so, you know, could just show up at a scorecards meeting. I often show up and basically say, "Hey, can you give us five minutes? We want to explain kind of what we what we've done, what we do." Is there something that, you know, if you like, and, and basically interact with your customers? I, and that's why, that's, I think, the, the reason that I brought up Scorecard as one example is it seems like the place where the, like, metrics that we develop would be consumed. And, and you know, there are... Uh, it, it's an awareness, I think, is, is David's point here. So maybe having a summary of these are the metrics we've standardized on. Uh, mm -hmm. And you know, do you guys see flaws with them? And if not, please adopt. Well, and also more than uh, that, what are you looking for? Yeah, what, what's missing? Yeah, Here, here's what we have so far. You know, uh, what are what do you need? This is what we do. And um, I mean, there are actually other groups. There's um, uh, salsa in particular. There's a new group called SSC. Which I wouldn't be, um, which is not part of OpenSSF right now, but I would be unsurprised to see in the future. But all of these are basically efforts to try to figure out, hey, I'm thinking about adding an open source project, or I use one, or I am the project and I want to self evaluate. And so all of these things are attempts. Did you say that what salsa, David? Is that what it's called? SLSA. Yeah. Um, here, I'll, I'll pull the SLSA and then SSC. Yeah. If you go to SLS, now Salsa is very, very focused. They're Did you say focused. SSC, Kate? SSC, I said it. Uh, secure, yeah. so, uh, secure supply chain. Uh, that one isn't currently an open SSF project. It's it's one that's being discussed right now. Who's, so, who's leading that one off, David? I'm sorry? Who's leading that one off? Who's leading those discussions off? Uh, Microsoft is the one who developed it originally. Okay. Uh, we already I, 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 we already know there's some problems with it, but that doesn't mean they can't be fixed. But right. well, I'm just wondering how that one relates into Skit. Um, the integrity one. I honestly am not sure. Um, okay, fine. <laughs> Acronym soup for the win. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Possible it's the old name. I don't know. All right. Anyway, I, 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 I'm just pulling out the doc right now. So anyway, um, it seems to me though that the goal is to generate metrics and get them used. Uh, you might showing up with scorecards and talking with them might. Now the things that they're going to want, they're going to want to implement stuff and add that to their list. Okay. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but you know, basically you've got to convince them either you've got code, that's always the, the happiest answer, but if not, you know, how long it would take to implement it. But it's it's not insane. And you know, they, they can say no, uh, we like that, we think that's good for somebody else or not us, but at least making them aware of it would probably be a good idea. And you know, in general, having conversations between different groups. You know, plus one. The the elf does not try to enforce communication across everybody because it's just impossible. <laughs> but we sure as heck try to encourage them. I think that um, there are different kind of core competencies between the groups. Chaos sure. is really good at at you know defining shareable metrics. 
that um, are, can be normal, normalized across different data sets and, and right. operational sets. And uh, OSSF is obviously um, very strong on security in particular. Um, right. and, and maybe there's a intersection. Um, and um, you know, a place where these skill sets uh, can be complementary. Yeah. I, 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 to me, the answer is obviously yes. I mean, it's why I show up here. <laughs> so, um, and, and although there's other groups, I mean, Salsa is very, very focused. Um, SSC is, uh, might be of interest, but they're not, they're, they're still trying to figure out what their relationship is with everything else that's going on. Uh, so not sure how to deal with that. So I would say, why don't you start by uh, maybe, you know, uh, I think the easiest thing would be show up on their on their meeting. They meet every other week, so give me a moment. I can go find their uh, the Zoom next bombing. gathering. You can uh, you can infest. <laughs> Are you suggesting a, a Zoom bomb? By Absolutely. Kim? Well, a, a, a Zoom bomb, but a Zoom bomb prepared ahead of time. Oh, hey, the next uh, the next one is uh, in two hours, four p.m. Eastern time. I have another meeting. The next, the next what is? Uh, the next one is two hours after the start of this one. <clears throat> this is the next one, but I don't know one what. The next scorecards meeting. Oh, really? Okay. Well, we're certainly not ready for that. Um... <laughs> how, how's this you, you, well, you know what I can do, though? Um, I can tease up, because I do plan to be at, at that one anyway, and basically, and so the next meet, they meet every other week. So their next meeting will be on the 22nd at 4 p.m. Now I probably can't do that because I'll be somewhere else. Uh, I, can, I can. Okay, How, how's this? Uh, maybe what we could do Oops, is- You don't need to see my calendar. <laughs> yeah, I, I would suggest as an outcome of this discussion, Sean and maybe one or two other folks, just show up and basically briefly explain, here's what we've been doing. Here's kind of what we've been, you know, do you have interest in what we have? And are there things you want us to drill in that maybe we could help you with? Okay, so the, the next meeting is, um, if we're getting concrete, OSF scorecard. Okay. Uh, uh, September 22nd, 4 p.m. Eastern time. Okay, and- so I'm gonna put um, 3 p.m. CDT only because all of the chaos stuff is published in CDT. That's fine, and that's fine, doesn't matter. If if I publish it in EDT, that I'm sure will confuse some people. But I can I can be there and I think perhaps um, a to-do, uh, one action item would be to prepare a slide deck or a brief slide deck. Okay, I am, I am adding right now to their agenda for today, just to note that you're gonna be presenting uh, Sean on the 22nd, not on the today. I understand. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, present in two weeks. Sean, draw, and, you're the lead, right? Yeah. And does anyone else wish to join? Like Sophia or. Kate, Lucas, Janad. I think it's I, when I, I, I think it's always helpful if uh, people they if and, and Sophia it sounds like you've only been involved tangentially, but I, I think because you work at a large company with a lot of open source projects, you you offer a perspective I certainly don't bring as an academic. Well there's there's already folks from my extended team that are involved in it. So like Scorecard. I don't know. It eventually hit OpenSSF, but a lot of it was done inside of Google at first. So I was involved very preliminarily when we were just talking about what would actually go into it, and then another team ran with it, and then it became part of the OpenSSF. So I know some of those folks already, just because we're we work at Google, but I haven't been very engaged with them. Outside. Okay. Okay. So <coughs> I'm gonna queue up today that you, that uh, asking that you be added. I'm sure they'll say sure. And mm -hmm. and uh, and that means that we have at least an answer to the how do we get these different groups more connected together. We have after a little discussion, we have an answer. Yeah, yeah. 
I think I think just a slide desk slide deck of what does risk do, which I can yeah. circulate um, through the Slack channel. And or do you all do you all look at the Chaos Slack channel, or is there a better? What, should I use email to communicate the slide deck? Email, please. Email, okay. please. I've I, I, I too I many Slack channels, and I've lost and between Slack, Discord, Google Meets, etc. It is uh, yeah. That, not that's working. a yeah, Sean, I think the key thing would be to identify any metrics you've already generated that you think they might find of use because they're going to be a, they're going to be primarily interested in what can I grab from you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you want them to and you want them to adopt some of these things. So, yeah, and, and I actually looking through the scorecard, I think there are there are already things in the scorecard that reflect some of the things that we've built metrics for mm -hmm. and so, yeah, I'll I'll prepare and distribute and share that slide deck um, before, like, I, I put a note to work on that over the weekend or early next week and uh, share that out. This week's a little tough since I'm on the road. And then I think okay. um, the... There's a there's there's not only the influence of risk on, uh, on in the open SSF world, but uh, vice versa, the influence of this conversation on uh, the on the risk working group, um, and you know the, the mandate and the vision for what the risk working group does. Um. Well, I, 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 I don't think I don't think that um, any of us are ruling what the risk working group does with an iron fist. Uh, other than you know, like for example, I think you know I, I think this relationship with OSSF is uh, an important discussion, um, and I, I think it's good that we're willing we're willing to jump our agenda. I, I think. Completing the update risk metric I, is useful. Um, I think looking at software binary repeatability as a metric, uh, these are these are things that can I think I think can be defined and are useful uh, to to define. And um, I see something related to the Dora metrics, and I need to be reminded. Uh, what those are yeah well, well okay the, the word repeatability there's all sorts of well, weird special things when you say reproducible versus repeatable mm -hmm. there are different terms that have very specialized meanings do you mean repeatable do you mean reproducible What's the meaning here i think you mean re re reproducible right software binary i i Let's let's open this up because we created it. Um, nope, this is just the template, so it's an idea at this point. Software binary, I think it does mean reproducibility. I don't think it means repeatability. Okay. Okay, I'm going to use my great cosmic powers to change the title to what we thought we meant. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean well, to, to jump back because I know you're trying to move on, Sean. I just had one on. close, close out thought from the first conversation. I haven't, I was mostly listening. We only um, have five minutes, four minutes left. So it, it's okay to continue that discussion, Sophia. Um, I've now given and potentially will be giving it again if my talk gets accepted, but I've been focusing more on risk outside of security because I feel like there's, there's so much thought and effort and real estate being dedicated to better understanding how to improve the security posture of open source and the broader open source supply chain that I feel like in a certain sense, I feel like I don't want people to get too myopic on thinking that security is the only risk. Yeah, yeah security so, is the risk. <laughs> I agree with you. No. It's, part of, it's part of the risk profile. So I, I gave a talk a few weeks ago that was literally thinking about all the other risks that are not security and expanding how a company was thinking about open source risk outside of security and no. saying, if you want a security focused talk, I can point you to people I know in the open SSF that can give you a great overview mm -hmm. of the tooling and concepts and frameworks that they're working on. But 
I think that it's still important to recognize that risk is broader than, than security and that I see our function distinct from the openness as of because they have a very singular focus on security and we look beyond just that. And I think right. clearly that we should have some overlap in terms of top, topics and areas of interest and ways to create measurement and metrics around it. But I don't wanna lose focus that we're, we're broader than that. And I think that that's, that should be intentional. Yeah, I agree. We have, we, I agree too. And I, I just brought us to the, you know, we have identified six categories of risk. And I think early on we focused on business risk and licensing. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, I think transparency to some extent. Um, I think code quality, I'm not sure we have a metric because code quality is a, okay. So we have some complexity. We have, we do have some things defined there. I think where, where there is, um, actually, t actually we've, yeah, we've defined some good metrics there. And I think, so yeah, I think we do have categories that are beyond um, security. Mm -hmm. But, I, you know, I think in the last year, because of the, honestly, the folk, you know, the last summer of 2021's um, leak and the, the current presidential administration's focus on open source software security, some of our discussions have leaned, leaned towards that. But I agree completely that that is not the only area of risk that, that we address or have addressed. So I think that um, this is a really fruitful direction to go. Um, and I can imagine, for example, um, what is uh, the a, a risk apart from security? Uh, yeah. And um, I could imagine, for example, saying that the distinction between OSSF and the risk working group uh, is that the risk working group doesn't do security. Uh, just like literally like that's the bright line because there may well be lots of other risk that's worth the group's time. I mean. Let's look and see if we've defined security metrics. Well, I think we, we haven't really focused on security for exactly that. We've focused on things that are security dependent, like whether or not you have the ability to update and even update risk with something like that. It's because there could be a vulnerability in some versions. So do we have the ability to make a patch to use this version that's out of date to basically looking at the effect of having a security vulnerability on a thing, but the thing that we're measuring is again, an, an indicator of whether or not we would have more or less effect from a security issue. So I think if we stay in that realm of areas where security can impact other things and we're measuring indicators of where those impacts be, then I think we are complementary to what the OpenSSF is working on anyway, without committing to saying we're, because we're not, I don't, Everyone, I'm not really going to feel like I'm a security expert. Um, no, I don't. I, I didn't I, feel like I really myself. tend to default to the open SSF group anyway, because that's that's where people are coming together to work through these issues that have the right that have the background in this topic. So, but I think there are you had, from a measurement and analytics perspective, there is we relate to it. So you you had a really clear statement at the very beginning of what you were saying, Sophia. Our boundary is, and I didn't catch it. It's gone. <laughs> I don't know what I said. It's gone. There's a recording. Uh, well, I can go back and look. Yeah. That's why we were Our boundary is something. Um, and we're at, we're at we're time. At and uh, I'll go back and update this. Uh, and um, so thank you all. Um, I'll take um, the action to go back and listen to what Sophia said because I thought it was clearly stated. <laughs> Uh, can I have a quick question for the group? Is anyone yeah. getting in Dublin next week? Should yeah. I come find you? Yeah. Um, Thursday and Thursday. I'm you not, you. but have an awesome okay. time. Yeah, I'm, I'm not able to make it because I broke my foot in four places and I'm having surgery. So that's, that's a long story for another time. It, 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 I, Dublin isn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I acted like I was 20 years old when I was moving my daughter into our apartment um, for grad school, and I jumped down like eight or 10 steps to the landing, and uh, oh, just I'm not, I'm not young enough to do that crap anymore. So, <laughs> <laughs> lesson right. learned. Get, get right. better, Sean. Yeah, yeah, get better. All right. I'll talk to you all soon. See you Bye. next week, Sophia.
Bye. Bye. See you soon. Bye.